All right, welcome folks to Gordium, where we generate, execute, <laughs> I say it out of order, where <laughs> we generate, evaluate, and execute on startup ideas. Uh, today, we're going to be picking up this idea that we've had for, I mean, quite a while. And the problem is the iMessages slip through the cracks. And so the, I, the solution seems simple, like being able to mark on like messages as unread, um, I mean, that seems like the obvious solution. Now there's cooler things you can do with this, like um, Gmail style check-ins and reminders, you know, remind me about this in two days. If they don't text me back, let me know. And, you know, you could start to tag and organize your texts. Now, I don't know if people actually want that in the text message. It's like, maybe this is a feature and not a bug, but yeah, Neil, um, you use Android. And is this uh, available? Can you mark things on red in Android? Yeah, so if I get a message in, I can have it remind me in an hour. Um, oh. And it will also sometimes give me reminders, like receive. Really? Today. Yeah. Um, that said, uh, uh, I like just today went through and like fixed all these or finally replied to, to messages that were you know, two weeks old. Um, yeah. Mm. So I guess for me, my issue is if I clear the push notification, well, no, it, it pops up with the, like the bubble. Um, so I can, like, I, I don't know if iMessage does that, like the Facebook messenger, you know, that you can text over other apps. Um, yeah, yeah. So if I if I get rid of that bubble, even if that message is unread, it will get rid of the notification on the on the messages app. Uh, that's very fun. And that that's the one thing I wish, you know, because sometimes Andrew. I'm, you know, watching a video or something and it's like oh. bubble go away. So I'll I'll make it go away and then it's like I never but and then because the bubbles are so convenient, I never go into the app. Mm, mm. So the equivalent Android, I guess, hold on, I'm going to move, I'm going to make kind of an Android section here. So Android does this by default, and then the equivalent problem on Android is that messages are marked read when they're dismissed from a notification sort of it knows they're not read and if they're unread it won't give you mm. the reminder so it's only if you know if i go oh. into your message and then leave then it will give me a reminder but if i don't open your message and it's unread but i have dismiss dismissed your bubble it will get away, it will take away the uh, any notification unless I go into the app. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, the equivalent problem on Android is that messages are removed from the notification center if you dismiss the push notification. Um, yep. They are left on red, which means they don't um, remind you about it yeah. like you might, like they might if it was unread. Um, Fascinating. If it was read. If it was read, yeah. Yes. That's a really interesting little little hole there. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw this in um, on Android, like as a new problem, because I think it'd kind of be fun to do a comparison there. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what happened there. Oh, wow, that's a long. So really, we want to say something like messages on Android. OK. But back to, back to iMessage here. So, you know, I think overall the problem, the, the real general problem is that texting 
Like, what is the point of texting? Like, it, it, you know, like, like I feel like, te- like texting is now being used to advertise. Like, texting is a way to like. I always think about texting as like, like making plans or like general updates mm-hmm. or really like group messages. But like, what's, and, and again, what's what's the difference between texting and email? I think a, a lot of the problem with iMessage is just slipping through the cracks is we don't use texting, right? So like, I find that the real problem is someone has sent me a text that probably should have been an email or that should have been a video, you know, some type, you know, something that requires a lot of thought that has really high fidelity, you know, that requires a certain richness, yeah. Yeah. So I think the actual like digging deeper, the reason we forget text is that the text wasn't meant to be a text at all. Yeah. It should have been a call or an email. Yeah. So the reason these messages slip through the cracks at all is they, um, the it's the wrong channel. Yeah. So yeah. no, and and this reminds me of um, Deep Work. No, one of Cal Newport's books, Deep Work. Is it where? Yeah, I think it's Deep Work where he talks about how he wants people to use email, where it's mm-hmm. like you be very intentional and you put more work on yourself. Right. And, and that's what text should be. It should be like, you know, I, I can quickly say yes, no, 12 o'clock, you know, any of that stuff, but I don't need to sort of, yeah, don't need any more nuanced, you know, and, and I think, you know, the two of us, we, we, we use, you know, volley for, for sort of yeah. this more discussion stuff. And then yeah. texting, it's, you know, more immediate, you know, like before this, I texted Jimmy, it's like, are we still on for, for recording? And I think, you know, there it's a, a yep. <laughs> and so ideally, this is used for real time communication that is low fidelity. So I, we use Bali to, to talk and Bali helps bridge the gap and move conversations that need high fidelity um, asynchronous. Because I think this is the benefit of a text. If, you know, it's asynchronous. You can do it anytime, blah, 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 blah. But yeah. Yep. If, if it, so this is, I think this might crystallize it. Texts get lost when they don't actually need to be synchronous. Because if, if it doesn't need to be responded to now, when, right? And texting yeah. doesn't handle that well. So like, like texting is set up to handle synchronous, low fidelity conversations. Yeah. Messages that are not to a specific moment thus get lost Mm -hmm. yeah so I mean one solution is just send better text Mm -hmm. like use the medium correctly yeah well and, and I wonder how many people have thought about that oh very few I feel like and so, you know, so then this, is there, yeah. you know, similar to uh, our last idea about Wi-Fi, you know, is there a, you know, comic or a, you know, short video that could be made yeah. to, to uh, sort of enlighten people? I think it's interesting. Well, I think the challenge here is though, um, 
a lot of people use texting to have conversations and hang it. I, I remember when I was in high school, before I knew better, I used to, I, I didn't like it, but I would text. And I really didn't like it because it forced me to commit all my attention somewhere else in this low fidelity way. It was like this terrible little window into someone's it, mind, I mean, you know? It, it's sort of very, very, uh, you know, comforting because you can constantly be with people without actually having to think of, you know, stuff to say. Yeah. Um, so I guess really the question is why don't people use the medium correctly? Like texting allows you, this is to feel like you're not alone. And this is how I used it when I was in high school. It's like, look how many people I'm talking to at once. This is so cool. Yeah. yeah. So it can create the appearance of a good combo with synchronization, but lacks the fidelity to do it well. Yeah. I think this is interesting because this is a conversation that's kind of, we've stopped having. We have a lot of conversations about social media and how to use social media and how to limit it, but we don't, we don't think about texting. Yeah. You know? Yeah, just, texting seems like below the surface. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's something where we've just become used to, and it's yeah. Fortunately, you know, doesn't have a ton of, you know, the the monetization is, you know, uh, one that's bene beneficial to the mm. consumer. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's not you know as addictive, but still funky. I also think that, you know, I, I dabbling the, the feetsies in the uh, online dating and, and so much oh. of that is just all this, you know, message based. Text. Yeah, it, it's essentially texting. And it's like, holy cow, that is just, you know, a terrible way to, to, draw out any information about this other person it's so hard to do well yeah 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 and the most successful ones are are when you just treat it as email right and you basically uh -huh. turn turn it from you know oh you know and, and no like psychology games but you know sending thought out like long longer form messages you know, and then just bumping the cadence way down. Yeah. And that's just a much more rich, you know, conversation than, than the, oh, how are you? Good. How are you? You know. But you just get nothing out of it. Yeah. 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 And then you're um, like, this person doesn't know how to have a conversation. And it's like, no, it's just, we're on a terrible medium. So I, I almost, I want to create two more problems out of this, which one is like, we don't use texting text correctly, right? Yep. And then the source would be this problem. Yep. Which I think I can get this link for free, which is nice just by doing that. Um, and I think the other one problem is like online dating occurs via texting. Yeah. If there's good reasons for that, you know, but yeah, not really, I don't know. Yeah. Wow, this is, a, I think this is another one we've, we've come back to a lot is texting. Oh yeah, like all your emails, all your texts are jumbled in one place. And th this is like a, another contributor yeah. to this problem. Yep. Yeah, I mean, texting is just, text and email is draining. Yeah, this is another one. A lot of it is draining because it's a neat, you're trying to create a neat thought. That's, that's another reason conversation doesn't work well when you're texting is because texting, you have to be very clear. You have to like distill your message into like a small thing. Whereas like if we're on a video call, 
or if we're doing volley, not everything has to be perfectly thought out. You know, you have a yep. lot more yep. wiggle room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I am ready to, I'm going to take a look just at our solutions again, thin better text, short explainer, marking maps with unread. Uh, um. I, yeah. I don't, I don't even know if the, you know, Okay, I, I think I have a vote on this. Well, I, I I'd say I um, sending better texts is not part of, I think that. I think these you know, are, is, these are, is, we don't use text correctly. Yeah. Yep. I think these are our only real solutions for iMessages specifically. Yeah. I don't think an explainer video does this. Okay. So uh motivation i give a zero you have an android i you know i also give a zero as much of a problem as annoying as this is like my whole just leave it unread until i get to it works okay so uh speed to test um wait what are our solutions again um mark like give people the ability to mark messages on red and then oh. gmail style check in. i mean i don't know what how developing works for you know in general but specifically on apple but wouldn't it be very challenging to a yes yep yep so a zero um, for a speed to test because there's an app that tries to do this um and well really there's an app that one that I found that would allow you to, I should probably add that, um, app that allows you to um, find how to schedule messages. And what's so interesting about it is Apple doesn't let you touch the messaging app. So mm -hmm. all they can do is just say like, it's basically a reminders app that you can like copy yep. and paste the text from. Oh, yep. another okay. connection. Um, yeah is the uh, organic reminders app. I don't know what that's called. Reminders origin? Yeah, that one. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, one of our examples in that is, you know, reminders to text friends. Yep. So, um, um, impact. I give a zero for this one. I'm going to give it a one. I think I should do. Yeah. I think, you know, this is symptomatic of a big thing. Um, and that's the, we don't use text correctly. Um, but it's just a symptom. Yeah. Not our not now. Yep. All right. Well, look, look forward to, I think we don't use our text correctly and online dating are going to be some very interesting problems. So mm -hmm. props to this problem for leading us to them. Um, and with that, I will leave y'all.